Yeah, buddy, John here with Empire RV Marine, and I've got another coach for you guys. 2000, I think this is an 8 Fleetwood Revolution tag axle. Uh, this one is going to be for someone that uh, wants a project. It's uh, seen better days. It's uh, it, They were hard on this one, guys, so I'm going to take you around it and show you all about it. It comes to us as a bank repo. I've got it running right now. I've got the generator going. It's got three roof airs. Those are running as well. Uh, it does need a slide topper on the slide here. And... Uh, it just, I don't know who owned this thing, but they were hard on it. So here, I'm gonna take you around it. Got a big one piece uh, front windshield. These revolutions, man, they were super popular for a long time. I don't know if they still are sought after. This is a pre-def unit, so uh, maybe a lot of you are interested in that. Uh, and maybe worth uh, fixing up and making it the way you like it. So it's got a nice big full body paint job. We've got a power patio awning, power door awning, swing storage doors. It's got the full wall slide on the other side, and then it's got a total of so a total of three slides, so that's your bedroom slide down there. There's a kitchen slide here. I couldn't get it to go in or out. It wasn't doing anything when I hit the switch. It could be something uh, real simple. I didn't really go any further than just hitting the switch, but uh, make sure you don't take that. Kitchen slide is in up. Uh, you got your side swing doors. You get storage up front here. It's got the big roller tray. Pass through bay situation going on. Get another one here, so we've got a inverter charger situation up top and then this is your water heater door i kept that in there because uh whoever owned it decided i don't know what they were doing but they uh removed the water heater that was on it and they put this uh they put this gizmo here and the door should be able to just go back on but anyways i don't know what this is looks like a residential type of deal i'm not really sure what the benefit of that is but they removed the water heater and they put that. And then they didn't put the door back on it. So make sure you know that your door is there. You want to put it back. Uh, it's got a Cummins 400 ISL. It's got a side radiator. Uh, the outside really isn't too bad. It's mainly on the inside that they were hard on it. It's running right now. It's sounds healthy. It's your full wall slide. Let's get the slide topper on the big slide here. And then you've got your... Uh, your wet bay down here. We got all your hookups and tank drains and all that good stuff going on here. Oops. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the inside where all the fun starts. And the generator is running super smooth. And it's only got the 600 hours, 644 hours so let's go check that out I don't know what the deal is up here this is like it's being polished out or something all right so let's go on the way to the inside so another thing to notate the steps they don't work okay so you're gonna have to jump in just look at your captain's chair it's got a smart wheel again here's your hours for the generator 644 it is running now I do have the roof airs going and they're cooling nicely. Um, miles, 42,000. Here's a look at your dash cluster. Voltage is good, all that looks good. Now, the reason why I say they were hard on it, because it just needs a good, good detail, probably some new carpet and whatever else you want to do to it. But it's uh, it's pretty filthy, like they were, it's dirty in here, so. It uh, needs a heavy detail or, like I said, new car. It doesn't have any super weird smells, but it's dirty. Um, you got your Norco four-door fridge here. Uh, nice convection microwave. Countertop spiel. Um, I guess I changed the sofa and decided to put this, but this looks like you need to throw that out or put something better, I would hope. I'm not sure if another sofa was originally there or what went there. And then there's space there for, like, another maybe recliner. Uh, but, yeah, the carpet's in a bedroom. Are pretty dirty you've got your countertop uh hard surface or solid surface countertops in the bedroom here as well as in the living room area the bedroom is nice and open you got a big island walk around bed so this would really be a nice floor plan if i got this slide out because this is a pretty deep slide so this would really open up and be a nice open space so it's pretty open with just the one slide out but just imagine with that going out you'd have a whole lot more space in here than it already has so here's a half bath on it i don't know if that was smart to rotate the phone but we'll put it back and then you got the rear bed uh, bathroom where uh it's 
pretty the probably the ugliest part so you got really big stain in the carpet here and then you got your vanity you've got the other that's the water heater that they put on it's got washer dryer hookups in here and then you've got a nice big closet space glass shower enclosure which i think is fine it just needs like i said it's just really dirty in here yeah that closes like it's supposed to but uh, if you have questions or i would recommend uh coming out checking it out uh, but if you're good at like remodeling stuff, this might be a good coach for you guys because uh, these are still worth quite a bit of money, guys. So um, in nice shape, you might be able to fix it up and resell it or do whatever, save a bunch of money and decorate it the way you like it. But I might have described it a little worse than it is, but it actually don't look super duper bad, but it just just is dirty for me. Um, and then, like I said, kitchen slide doesn't work. Uh, 43,000 miles got overhead TV overhead cabinets of course all around and uh, we're gonna sell this one cheap so if you're interested come check it out 936-253-8130 thanks for watching